Hey guys, in this video I'll be talking about smart energy meter for electric vehicle. And here I have mentioned the short uh, URL for the article that I'm currently reviewing right now. So if you go to this URL address, you can find out the IEEE article which I'm referring to right now. Alright, let's get started. First and foremost, we have smart energy meter and why should we use them? So basically what we have seen is that in the power consumption billing system when we embed and Bluetooth and GSM technology the energy meter becomes a smart energy meter and that has its own benefits so one of them is using uh, inbuilt technology which we already have into the energy meter so this makes it more smarter and that's why that's one of the reason why we use them the second is that the using the battery charger for electric cycle can be regarded as a load because the load is getting charged and here the charging load is the bicycle which is an electric one alright so what really happens here is that when the load is being charged the SEM the smart energy meter is being used and what happens is that it uses Bluetooth and GSM to alert the bike user, the customer, the buyer of the electric bicycle about how much has it been charged since the time it was put in the charging. Now the response is less than, the response delay is less than one minute which is pretty accurate so you might get the latest information right on your cell phone. So this is another reason why you should use a smart energy meter rather than a conventional energy meter. Now to show you what a smart energy meter looks like, it looks like something like this. Okay? Now let's go ahead and talk about what it is actually. So here we have a meter and in the traditional conventional energy meter we would have analogs. Okay? Displaying how much meter has been used and how much has been used amount of energy used without being paid so here when it says 1895 kilowatt hour it means that 1895 kilowatt hour has been used and the money of this has not yet been paid not paid okay so this is what it actually means here we can see it's digital because it's a smart meter secondly what really happens is that whenever you have a set limit okay if it if the set limit was 1900 if the limit was 1900 okay then at this point 1895 which is phi away from 5 kilowatt hour away from this you will be alerted that you have been reaching your limit and you should therefore shut down your applications so this is another reason why you'll be uh, accessible and more useful having a smart meter inside your home. All right. Now, why is the charging necessary? Well, one thing we know that the charging is necessary because the charging is only giving the limited amount of electric energy to go from distance A to distance B. And once we reach the distance B, the energy is vanished and therefore we need to recharge the, our electric appliance in this case it's an electric vehicle or a bike now what really happens is that we are using AC converter to DC converter and here we know that we call that as AC to DC converter so what really happens is that you have a socket right here which is like this and this is providing a AC current okay this is alternating current and what really happens when you uh, charge it is that there's an adapter adapter which converts the AC to DC which is a direct current so the application is being charged fast alright so what are the SEMs we really want to know about well SEM what we found out is the smart energy meter for electric vehicle which is based on Bluetooth and GSM technology and this are this technology this GSM 
and Bluetooth technology are used to communicate with SEM and the customer. Now, the way it's being uh, communicated is using a SMS. And how that all works is what we're going to look at in detail. So at first, what really happens is that you have a chip or SD card inserted in your smart meter over here. Okay. And now what happens is that once the chip is inserted, you have this instruction from here to here is an initial one time setup because you want to make sure your smart meter knows who it needs to text in order to inform. So what really happens once you have inserted everything and connected your Bluetooth and password with the meter, what happens is that it sets a kilowatt hour price name operator price at which kilowatt hour is ranged at and then every time it's using him it's giving out the information to the phone now this phone is registered to the sim card inserted to your smart meter and from one sim card to another sim card a sms is being transferred and all the information which are listed here are what's really important and that's what's being transferred from one device which is the smart meter SEM to your cell phone okay now what it needs to do in order to inform the users is the time it started the reading current sensor reading voltage sensor which is the average VRMS, IRMS, watts use, and the time it has been starting. Also, knowing all these variables, we can then calculate the price which is related to the energy that we have been using. Because price is the important factor, we know that cost is something that we really want to know. Now what happens is that the cost is being used. So here, what we are doing is the we're focusing on time it started, the start time and the end time, okay? T start and T end. And what's really being read is when the T has started and T ended, how much energy is being used, okay? So we're looking at E used from T start to T end okay and this gives us the money information and that is being texted to the GSM or Bluetooth using via GSM or Bluetooth to your phone and this adds up to your SD card memory so it's a complicated process and I've tried to decrypt it as much as possible if you weren't able to understand it you can go ahead and read it out yourself pause the video and also, let's go ahead and take a look at what actually it might look like. What I'm mentioning over here is what I'm going to be explaining in the next slide. So what really happens is that there are current sensors and voltage sensors and a relay system which is next to the SD card, a buzzer which indicates whether it's a good uh, scenario for the buzzer if it meets your peak limit or not. So if your energy at that time if we were supposed to reach this limit the buzzer would beep out that's the whole point of the buzzer alright so what's really happening is that you have your Bluetooth technology uh, SMS uh, GSM provider so here for example there's some random uh, provider called GS80 or whatever so basically what it is is an operator okay and you know customer whenever it's charging its electric bike it takes the energy from it and when it's being charged the Arduino system provides uh, information back to the SD card and that information which has been hard coded gives out using either these two technologies back to the phone and that's what the customer sees so relationship between the bike and the phone so using your phone you can understand how much your bike has been charged how much money you have to pay for the charge at that pre period of time alright now let's go ahead and in the conclusion of this video 
talk about the billing system, how it actually looks like. So in first, you have your billing system when you have set it up, the application, using your Android phone or something like that. So this is the thing that you receive when the connection is adequate. The second is when you have your verification convinced and everything about billing information is related over here. What you see here is the VRMS, how much has it been used since the T-start and how much watt has been used. And you can see that uh, using this much amount of power, we have to pay $1.46 for it. Now as the watt increases, such as from 32 to 32.125, the cost is also increased. Okay. Here we can see that the IRMS and IRMS here are pretty much the same. Okay. But the value of PF is also the same. Okay. However, here the VRMS is much higher than the VRMSA here. Okay. And therefore we can see that this has the cost of $2.17, which is more than the one over here. So what we can see is that Volt is a determining factor of your cost so we can say volt is an direct relationship with the money that you pay for the energy you use in this and that is how the smart energy meter works i hope you like this video if you have any more concerns or any questions you can go ahead and follow this url over here and uh, take a look at it yourself thanks for watching have a good day